vlogs, it's your girl Reese before and I'm back with another video. What's up, what's up, how you doing, how you doing? Um, yeah, so we're, yeah, this, this video is about this wig. I'm not going to talk too long because I did kind of rant at the end in my review part of the wig, but we're going to talk about it. I'm going to like do a real speed through on how I got the color and all of that because my talk through, my real rant is a little long. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to talk too much right now, but... Basically, is this a hit or miss? And I'm going to tell y'all at the end because, yeah, so. Anyway, <laughs> if you're new here and this is your first time seeing me, hello, hello. My name is Reese LaFleur. Thank you guys so much for clicking this video. If you're a baddie of all traits type of girl, that means we doing hair, fashion, nails, and all of that on this channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so that anytime I upload a video, you're notified. Thumbs up this video, comment down below, and make sure that you share this video with your friends. Without further ado, ado, we're going to get right into the do. Okay. Okay, you guys, so here's how the hair comes right out of the bag. Um, it's always the right flag when they come out with them old ugly lashes and the net cap, but whatever. <laughs> so this is the hair. I'm trying to show you guys the knots as much as I can. I'm trying to zoom in so you can see how huge and big the knots are. I'm telling y'all, no offense to anyone who might be blind, but it's like braille, y'all. Like you can feel every little knot. It's annoying. So I'm going in with a uh, bucket of warm water and I'm using my shimmering lights. And this is what I use to uh, tone hair without using real toner, like chemical toner. And this usually works for most hair, but it was trying me. Um, I'm trying to show you guys how it looked after I tone. You can see some parts are whiter than the others. And I left it in there for about 10 to 20 minutes. So I, I don't know. So now I'm going in with some warm water and we're going in with the Adore Color Platinum, which is number 150. And I'm just going to mix that around. I did have to run and go get another one because the color just wasn't depositing all over the hair. Um, child, I, we was going through it. So once you mix it in, I just did a little test. I knew that I was going to have a bluish tint to it. Um, I will say that I don't like this particular color from the Adore. Uh, the first time I've ever done gray hair, I actually used the Argan oil kind of dye. I can't remember um, the exact brand, but I'm pretty sure it was the one and only Argan oil um, gray. And that gave me the gray I wanted. This is giving you more of a bluish tint. Um, so that's why my hair has that bluish and then some silver in it. Um, so I'm showing you how much hair is just shedding um, after I took it out of the water and just like rinsed it out just to make sure the color was fine. Um... Like, I'm just grabbing so much. Like, it's just shedding. I haven't even plucked it yet. It's just shedding, you guys. And it, that was alarming because um, that was alarming. <laughs> Let's just say that was alarming. Um, so I'm just going to go in. I'm going to start plucking. I'm trying to show you guys. I'm trying to get close so you guys can see those knots. And you can see what is given. Um, I hope you can tell how big the knots are. Like, look at that. Can you see that? Like, if you can, squint all the way in, you guys, because those knots are huge. I, I don't think I've seen a wig. It looked like I was better if I did yarn braids. <laughs> like, crochet braids ain't knots ain't this big. Okay, a box braid, okay? You know, I just can't. I just can't. It's like they put four to six strands in each knot, I promise you. So when I started to pluck, I, I realized I kind of didn't, ha I couldn't pluck too much because I was literally pulling the whole strand out. It wasn't plucking like how I would want it to because the strands are too big. So it's like I'm pulling out the actual knots. It was crazy. So this is as much as I did when it came to the plucking. I kind of stopped. I really would have preferred to do it a little more. Um, and I'm someone that likes a thick hairline, but this is not necessarily, eh, you know. So um, I just turned the wig over and I'm just going in with my uh, homemade tint um, and I'm just going in and covering that and it'll help tint the lace a little bit for when I put it on. Just trying to save my wig head. I don't want her to turn brown because she's been through a lot. She green, she brown, she blue. She's been through everything with me. I need a new one. She's, she's been through the world. 
All right, so this is how the hair color looks. I already did my cap. I really wasn't going to show you guys how I laid it because I just always show you and I, I don't do anything different. But I was like, you know what? I'll do it quickly on camera. I'm not going to necessarily explain. So I was like, okay, let me just get on camera and show you guys what we did and what we looking for. Um, and I'm just going to put my elastic band and this will help the, the, the lace melt into the hair or into my scalp, I should say. And I'm just combing and brushing and the more I brush and comb, the more it wants to like just literally just do whatever it wants. I just can't. I, 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 I can't. But yeah. Um, so I'm just trying to cut off a piece of that because that lace was too long. I couldn't see. I'm just cutting off a piece of that lace so I can see better so I can manipulate and do what I need to do to style the wig and all of that. Um, I wish I didn't have as much blue tinting on it. It kind of ombre and then kind of went up in the front uh, with the blue a little too much. And I didn't like that. Like those front hairs are just so bluish or lavender more so. So it's giving you like a bluish gray color. Um, once it's dried, it looks a little bit better. But I think it's choppy because we're just going through something. So I'm trying to blow dry it now. Low blow dry again. <laughs> Low heat. Low heat heat. All right, so that's how much I just got from just combing the hair, you guys. That's how much. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and um, start flat ironing that. Pretty simple, pretty, pretty self-explanatory flat iron. Just trying to style it a little bit so it looks good. You can see like the parts of it is really silver and other parts have that like lavender kind of look to it. So child, we, we went through it with this one and, and I think that was, um, that was my issue. Like, I don't know if you can see like my face, I'm just kind of like over it in a sense, but yeah, that was really, really fun. I'm just trying to show, like, it's so much hair on me, you guys. It is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm just cutting off that lace in the front. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that tab that kind of came up, put my lace back on, my, my elastic band back on the lace, and then I'm going to go do my makeup. So I'm back. I'm um, just going to add in some more color where the uh, band was so that it looks like it's coming out of my scalp at least as much as I can. Oh, guys. Thick old knots, you guys. I mean, even the hair, like just to comb it. It was just giving me like it was just giving me problems i just to the point where i didn't want to manipulate it too much anymore like i wanted to go back over with the flat iron i was literally afraid because i'm like i don't know you know but this is actually how it looks and then i'm gonna like come back and start talking to you like in person in person so we're doing it okay you guys i have so much to say about this wig i was trying not to show it because i don't want to like go and like show how i feel about a wig before I'm completely done with the entire look of it. I hate this wig. I'm just gonna keep it all the way above. This is definitely a miss. Like if it was a hit or miss, like this is definitely a whole entire miss. Like strike out. Like I hate the wig. I actually like the way that I look right now. Like my makeup is done. The cut looks cute on me. I always look cute with a bob. Um, but I'm going to go on into why exactly I hate the wig and what was going on with me while I was doing it. Okay. Number one. The first thing I noticed about the wig when I pulled it out of the bag. Okay. Let me, first of all, let's start over. This wig is from Yemishun. 
hair. Um, it is an AliExpress brand. Here it is. This is eight inches, six, eight inch, six by th six thirteen, thirteen by four, eight inch unit. Okay. Um, and it's a pre-made wig. I did not make this wig. I like you saw. I pulled it out of the pack. It's already made. So that is what the specs are for this wig. When I took it off the pack, two things that I always know about six thirteen hair. Well, one of the things is that it usually has like that yellowy look, which is fine. But it was so uneven on this wig to the point where I'm like, wow, like, I don't even think I could color it the way that it was. And it's crazy because I think that's why my color became so uneven. Because even after I tried to tone it with the shiny light shampoo, it was just so out of pocket. It was hard to get it to like match up. I should have, I really should have used real professional toner for this wig because it was not lifted all together like it just lifted so different because the color in the wig was so different like some parts of it were some parts of it were so brassy that's one okay two the frontal you can't see it right now you probably can even right here oh my gosh it looks bad what the hell but the knots on this frontal are so big so I've never seen not like you could look in the front you could feel the knots like it feels like knots like somebody just tied hair into the frontal I've never experienced that before pissed off so the thing about that is is like when you're trying to do the hair I mean it's laying pretty flat oh I got hair in my eye it's laying pretty flat but I couldn't pluck it how I wanted to because one thing I've noticed that when your knots are that big, it's hard to pluck because now you're pulling the knot out of the lace. So it's like you're pulling a whole bunch of hair out. So I don't know why, but it wasn't pleasant. Like, the knots are huge, you guys. You can't even, I mean, I wish, I, I might do a zoom in or take a picture of them. These knots are huge, you guys. They are huge, okay? Like, that might be the number one thing that annoys me about this no i'm lying that's not the number one but that's one of the number one things that is annoying me about this wig the knots are huge okay the next thing is the shedding on this unit first of all this is only eight inches i've never this shit sheds more than synthetic like i'm about to like i'm having a whole rant right now because i am super upset it sheds like a synthetic unit like it just sheds even before i put color on it because the color that i use is not harsh color i use demi color i use the watercolor as you can see in the video i use demi color i didn't put anything i didn't put any chemical in this hair per se like really and even before when i first combed it i wish i had shown that part i think i did Hair was just coming out of it. And I think it has to do with these nasty ass, big ass knots. So what I will say is this. Because I'm pretty, <laughs> the hair looks good. That's all I got. I'm saving the hair. Me. Being here. Putting it on is saving the hair. Honestly, I was so upset. Um... I don't know if I'm going to post this video or not because I'm just like, I probably will because I feel like people need to know. And I don't want to shit on nobody's business, but this unit was like $90. Look at this. Look at that. All I did was just do a quick comb. Look at all that hair that comes out. Look at that. Look at like, I mean, look at all this hair on my chest. Like, <sighs> this is the worst unit I have had in years. So... This goes to show you that not everything on uh, AliExpress that glitters is gold. And I've been shopping on AliExpress for years. And this is my first time in at least five, six years where I got something where I'm like, oh, hell no. So I definitely left a review. I didn't even tell her that it was wet. I definitely left that one star review. Like, uh-uh, Pooh. Because all that little $5 you going to give me don't work. It's not worth this. I'm not going to be able to, good thing the wig is grayish, purplish, lavenderish, so it won't, I won't wear it often, but $90? That's money. So in a nutshell, that's how I feel about the unit. I'm going to start ranting and raving. If you like the unit, thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. I do like how the color came out, even though the color is mad choppy because of whatever, whatever. 
but the color on me looks okay and the cut on me looks okay so i guess it kind of makes it look okay you know what i mean like i look like i had a bad dye job you know i guess but um yeah so that is pretty much the end of this review um i have nothing else to say about it stiff wig stiff bob like i i just don't i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it like i should be feeling it i'm not feeling it like i should be feeling it so i just wanted to come and let you guys know i don't know if you're gonna even see this but i'm letting you guys know anyway um thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to join that flower gang 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 by liking commenting sharing and subscribing to my channel i hope to see you guys in my next video bye